TYT Sports, everybody. Jason Rubin here with you. Just got done watching the St. Louis Rams beat the Denver Broncos. Now, a lot of people going into this game called this a trap game, and they did feel like there was a good chance that the Broncos could lose. The Rams do boast a very good defense. Uh, but looking into the game a little bit more, uh, credit where credit's due. Jeff Fisher kept calling the right plays. He kept trusting his quarterback in Hill to throw it downfield. And who was downfield to catch a lot of those balls who kept burning Aqib Tlaib on the Denver defense was Kenny Britt, who had himself a few big gains, a 30-yard pass in which he really, literally looked like he caught uh, Tlaib completely off guard. Like, Tlaib was like inching closer, looked like he looked left to the sideline, and bam, Britt goes right by him. Awesome, so awesome. Uh, and then a few plays later, uh, Kenny Britt wide open for a 63-yard touchdown pass. Um, so again, credit where credit's due. Kenny Britt showing his speed, some athleticism. This is a guy who doesn't come up in the conversation with the elite receivers, but he sure as hell looked like an elite receiver in today's game. I'm not calling Kenny Britt a top-tier receiver just yet, but a lot of promise with this kid. He could end up being one of the major targets that uh, the Rams should go to week in and week out. Uh, injuries. Injuries for the Broncos, it's painful to see. Uh, Monty Ball injured again. Julius Thomas uh, was hobbling around. Um, amongst all of that, Peyton Manning still threw for, I think, 380 plus yards. Uh, he did have two interceptions. It wasn't really a traditional Peyton Manning game. Uh, what it was funny about watching this game is I always compare this Peyton Manning game uh, to, or what I'm going to compare the game to is uh, when Brady and Manning used to face off way earlier in their career, like 2003, 2004, 2005, these are the type of games that they would have against each other. These 350-yard, one touchdown, two interception, maybe two touchdown, two interception games. Look back at the rivalry between those two, and you will see that those are the numbers that they would be putting up. Regardless, uh, the Rams and the Broncos, or the Rams versus Peyton Manning, not necessarily as big of a rivalry. But Thomas and Sanders, Denarius Thomas, I should say, and Emmanuel Sanders each had themselves a 100-yard game. Uh, Peyton, again, one of those touchdowns to a wide-open Emmanuel Sanders. My God, he had 15 feet in almost every direction uh, when he caught that ball. Must be nice when you're running over the middle of the field, going long, and there's just nobody around you. It's like that backyard football-like thing uh, when you beat your buddy on the line and you're just wide open downfield, and you just pray that your uh, QB in your backyard game can throw a little bit like Peyton Manning. Uh, the scariest moment of the game, um, and I was going to say my buddy Jeremy, who you know comes on for the NBA stuff, uh, he used this example, another credit where credit's due. Emmanuel Samuel Sanders watching uh, Rodney McLeod's hit on Emmanuel Sanders where he lowered his shoulder uh, is the equivalent to basically what it looked like to get into a human car accident. Uh, it was painful and it was loud. The thud that happened when he hit, uh, he got an unnecessary roughness call. Yeah, he didn't lead with the helmet. We get that. Uh, he didn't have to hit necessarily that hard. Yeah, Emmanuel Sanders still could have caught the ball if maybe he didn't put that big of an impact. And I'm all for a big hit in the NFL. It makes it exciting to watch. Uh, it's what people do like to see on top of big plays is big hits. It's a, it's a reoccurring thing every year. Uh, but in terms of protecting these players, Emmanuel Sanders looks like he got hit by a train uh, by Rodney McLeod in his third season out of Virginia. Big hit, led with the shoulder, thank God he didn't lead with the helmet. Those are the two most terrifying moments when you see those helmet to helmets. But when all was said and done, Greg the Leg, Legatron, Greg Zerlin, two 50 plus yard field goals, 53 and 55, and also a 20 like five yarder before that, to really secure the victory for the St. Louis Rams. The Payne Manning Broncos couldn't get much going uh, in the second half, and the Rams came out of the trap game with a big W. Props to Jeff Fisher. Props to Kenny Britt, props to Hill, and props to the St. Louis Rams defense. Uh, looking forward to the rest of the Rams the next, uh, throughout the rest of the season. Looking forward to see if the uh, Broncos can bounce back. Thank you for tuning in, guys. I'm Jason Rubin. This was TYT Sports. Make sure to subscribe. It's free.